Hello guys, welcome! Today I have a here a tutorial which is about Java because I'm, I will start doing Java tutorials and this is kind of a series on how to make a 2D game so open your Eclipse and let's get started once your ep Eclipse is opened the first thing you, uh, you want to do is switch to a new and clean workspace with no other projects and let's create a new Java project you can name it whatever you want I want to name it evolution just finish it and you will have here a folder with the source and before we start coding let's just create some new folders by right clicking in your project folder and go into new folder and let's have a folder named res where our re where our textures will be in so now that we have this folder we need to associate this folder to our project and to do that just go to properties and then go to java build path source and add a folder the res folder just hit ok and then you will see that it will move and now that this is done we can start coding and let's create a new class and call it main um, sorry I just messed up here something I need to create a package let me just create a new package and call it evolution and I can't even write Evolu evolution and you can delete your default package if you have done that and inside that package create a class named main I guess if I refresh this yes so let's start from a blank document here and the first thing we need to do is say the package it's evolution if we undo that this is the first line package evolution now the second thing we have to do is import the the X frame from Java X swing so to do that just write import Java X dot swing swing I'm right dot J I think something is not swing dot J frame and this will import the J frame and what the JFrame is, is like a container where our game will be inside. So it's like the window, the little window that you will get. It's the JFrame. After that, we need to write public class. Public cla class main. And we need to extend this extends to the JFrame. JFrame. Open and close your brackets. And now we have inside this main class two methods. The first one is the constructor and let's write it by writing public main open and close brackets. And the second one it's the really the main method, the, the method that will run once our game starts so public static void main string args and this is the first this is the two methods the only two methods that will be in the main class the main class will be very very short is like not many lines of code left so let's create this the instance of main so write main m it's equals to a new main sorry this is with capital and what this does is 
once the once we run this program it will search for this method this main method and will run this and what this does is this tells the program to run the constructor for this class so it initializes this class here so inside this class inside this constructor I mean we need to add four I think four um, methods that are built in the JFrame and those methods are the set size and the set size is the size of the window I'm going to make mine 500 by 400 the second one is the set visible and we want to set this as true because we want to be able to see the the window the next one is set resizable and we want this to false because I don't want to resize the window I want it to be always 500 by 400 and last but not least is the set default default close operation default set default close operation operation i think it's right good I think and inside here we want we need to add an argument which is jframe dot exit on close and I think I wrote this no jframe and this does for the first tutorial let's just place this over here and if we run it we will get a window 500 by 400 as you can see is bigger this than the width is bigger than height and pretty simple and this is the container for our game so our game will be drawn inside here inside all this gray space and yeah this is this class is over we will not be messing around with this, with, with this class more I guess I think this is over we can we may need to add here one or two lines of code but nothing too big nothing too because the class we will I will show you in the next tutorial will handle almost everything in the game so yeah